Hello everybody, you want to uh, lower the sensitivity for the Guardian, like you see here I'm recording gameplay in Sunderleaf, uh, the Guardian is recorded. Well, keep in mind this is important, if you want to reduce the sensitivity, there is a way I'm going to show you in this video, uh, but it's also important to know that it will increase the chance for injury. So basically it actually was made in order to prevent you from actually bumping uh, against the wall and against obstacles in your environment when playing games or using the VR for any other purpose. It's important to keep in mind that if you are outside of the guardian area, like you see here, you're going to see the boundaries as well. All right, so first of all, click the quick quick settings. After clicking quick settings, go to the top and click settings. Then go and click physical space. So this is the area where you control uh, the guardian. Basically, you can choose the color, floor level, um, glanceable boundary. Uh, boundary sensitivity is the one that you want to use. They're simple and advanced. If you just want to reduce the sensitivity, slide it to towards the lower, low sensitivity. If you want higher sensitivity, you do it to higher. But if you again you want to reduce the appearance, so with one appear, when you are very close to it, reduce it to low. Again, do it at your own risk because again it might redu uh, lead to uh, you being damaged because you are not aware of the boundaries when you are using the headset. All right, let's choose the advanced. I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, there are more controls here, by the way, which can be uh, better for some of you. So you can control the sensitivity of both the controller uh, in the headset and other options as well. So basically, if the headset itself is close to the boundaries that you set, uh, you can decide the sensitivity if it is going to appear uh, when you are further away from it or closer away from it. You can see that if it is high and like uh, even uh, half a meter away, it's going to show if I'm low and I'm very close to it, it won't show unless I'm very, very close. And if you reduce it totally too low, it's only when really I touch the boundary, then it will appear. The reason you see it now because of the controller, the controller now touches it. Uh, so we can actually play with the controller's sensitivity as well. So again, you can see that uh, when I'm using the controller, depends on the distance. This works the same as the headset. If you want the controller uh, to be very close and the guardian won't appear, the boundaries, you can just set it again to a lower volume. And if you completely reduce it to uh, zero, it's not, I don't know if it's zero, but again, to the most left uh, volume of the slider, it's only when you touch the boundary, then it will appear very, or it is very, very close to it. You can see it here, right? And that's how we do it. That's how we control the sensitivity of the boundaries of the guardian. So if you don't like that, it's visible, uh, you know, games a lot, or uh, for some reason, maybe you don't need it or whatever reason, you decide to play with the sensitivity or you want to increase it just in case uh, to make sure that we won't bump into something. This is the way to do it. Again, do it at your own risk because again, this mechanism was made to actually protect you from actually bumping into obstacles in your room. Thanks for watching.